kitaifa limekumbwa na mkanganyiko kutokana na habari za kushtua za hivi punde kuhusu aliyekuwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika hali aliyokuwa nayo hivi sasa kama anavyofichua Sabina Chege kulingana naye Sabina Chege ni jambo la kustaajabisha kusikia kwamba mtu yule ambaye alikuwa ameongoza jubili pati wakati mmoja aliyekuwa na nguvu katika siasa alishindwa kutetea imani yake au chama chake Sabina Chege kiongozi mpya wa jubilii aliyechaguliwa aliharakisha kumpigia simu rais huyo wa zamani kwa kusalimisha chama chake kwa Raila Odinga na kusababisha mpasuko mkubwa ndani ya chama. Alisikitika kupoteza imani kutoka kwa umma na jinsi ukosefu wa uamuzi kwa upande wa uhuru umesababisha mzozo wa sasa wa utambulisho wa chama. Hali imekuwa mbaya kiasi kwamba Chege pamoja na wanachama wengine wa chama hicho wameamua kuendelea na kuunda miungano mipya inayoiana na maadili makuu ya jubilii. Nikirejelea chapisho la Nation mtandaoni limeweza kuandika hivi, she accused Mr. Kenyatta of being an absentee leader who has been suffering from indecisiveness for some time and of behaving as if he was pawning off the Jubilee Party to Raila Odinga of the Orange Democratic Party rather than fighting for its rightful share of political power in parliament speaking on Inoro TV Ms Chege said Mr Kenyatta was ignoring the fact that the political parties act identifies UDA ODM Jubilee and Wiper as the main vehicles because each has more than 18 elected leaders he abandoned us at the negotiating table on parliamentary power sharing jubilee was not consulted in parliamentary committees parliamentary commissions we tried to reach him through phone calls and text messages he never responded she alleged kwa taarifa zaidi bonyeza kibox unachokiona kwenye screen yako itakuelekeza katika tani letu mpya na usisahau kusubscribe kwa channel hiyo